Friends, welcome to my workplace for hands-on FACO and SICS training. This is a cataract with grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. The incision is at around 11 o'clock. Now a side port is made by the keratome itself at around 8 o'clock and then another side port is made on the right side of the main incision at around 2.45 o'clock. If the side ports are about 3 o'clock hours away from the main incision, astigmatism induced by the main incision is neutralized to some extent by the side ports. The anterior capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye underneath an air bubble. The dye is washed out and then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now capsulorexis is to be done. I usually use a uterate of forceps nowadays for doing capsulorexis. Earlier days I used to use a cystitome to create a capsular tag but nowadays with the cystitome itself I can do that. In this way the capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided all around to get an adequate size trexis of about 5.5 millimeter. Hydro dissection is done with bases and 27 gauze cannula. Hydro dissection is done at multiple points, the nucleus is mobilized. In this case, I am going to demonstrate the stop and chop technique of phaco emulsification. The phaco needle goes in with its pebble down. Some superficial lens matter is aspirated and the surface of the nucleus is exposed. And now this is on move. I am making a trench. This is another move. We must sculpt and go. This is the third move. By three moves I have reached. This is the fourth. By four moves I have reached appropriate depth. And now I increase the vacuum and chop each heminucleus. Trench was made with 80 vacuum and 20 fluoret and ultrasonic energy was set at 60 percent. Ultrasonic energy is linear so I haven't used 60 percent ultrasound most of the time. During this time chopping and emulsification of the pieces the vacuum is 350 millimeter of mercury, fluorate is 35. Each nuclear piece is emulsified and care is taken to emulsify the pieces at the center of the anterior chamber at the iris plane. During emulsification of the last fragment at this stage, vacuum is reduced and fluorate also reduced. And now, cortical cleanup is to be done. Visco is injected into the anterior chamber. In this case, I am going to demonstrate use of bimanual irrigation aspiration. With bimanual irrigation aspiration, we can reach all parts by changing hands. But in this case, you will see that I will not need to change hands. Start it from 12 o'clock 
now at 8 o'clock, now at 7 and then 6 and 4. So, clean up has been done at on go, change of hand has not been necessary in this case, but if it is required, it can be done. And now, hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag. This is Galaxy Fold or Super Fold from Upper Sami Associates. No financial interest, but I am very grateful to this Indian company. They have helped thousands of ophthalmologists like me in building up our practices. This is moxifloxacin and this is closure of the side ports. Little bit of hydration is required if the side port is a little large and the probes do not go very tightly. But if the side port is small and if you push and make a fish mouth kind of opening, you need a lot of hydration to close the side ports. And this time this is the final lavage of the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber. And now the anterior chamber is nicely formed in this way. The Simco rests at the wound in this way and the antechamber is formed. Integrity of all the wounds are checked with a cotton tip Johnson bath. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the wound and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.